Hey Jen, what's this game? This one's called Math Sides, and there are lots of different kinds of Math Sides, but this one's the Add 10 Math Sides. We're going to use the Deca Deck mm -hmm. today instead of a different deck of cards or dice, and we're going to use one marker for both of us and one eraser because it's sitting inside an Avery 74804 heavy duty sheet protector. Ah. so that we don't have to laminate it and we can also just play and play and play over and over and over. Fun! So it works like this. I pull a card. Mm -hmm. This is a zero, showing zero fingers, but it's add 10. So zero plus 10 is 10. So I'm going to just cover up that line right there. So you just cover one side of one of the 10s on the board. Yeah, I could have picked this line here 10. or this line, but I just picked that one. Okay, let's see what I got. I have an eight because five and three more make eight. So I have to say eight plus 10 is 18. And I'm going to look around here for an 18 where I can color one side. And I choose to color this side right there. Oh, that's cool because you're getting close to being able to make a box there. If you finish all four sides, you get to claim the box. Well, I got nine. Okay. Ooh, 9 plus 10 is 19. Look at this. I am claiming this side of this box, but that means we've only oh, got interesting. three. Okay. 1. 1 plus 10 is 11. And let's see. I have an 11 here and 11 here. I'm just going to have fun with this corner right now and be a little daring, and I'm going to color this side of the 11. Not just right. for fun. Okay. Let's see, I'm going to, oh, four. Four plus ten is fourteen. Since we're working in this corner, I could do this one again, but I'm just going to do this line right here of this fourteen. Okay, we're going to see Sure, what why not? Let's see. I have zero. Zero plus ten is ten. Ah, <sighs> you know what? I'm just going to be weird. And I'm going to color this side of this tin over here. Okay. That's, you can do that. Yeah. This is zero tally marks. It is. Nothing. Okay. This one, five, six, seven, eight, eight plus 10 is 18. I really want to finish this box. Wow. That. So if I get a five or an eight, mm. I can mm. add 10 to it and finish that line. And okay. then I would have a point. That's right. Hmm, that's interesting. Let's see. I got another zero. Oh, man. If I had, okay. Let's see. Zero plus 10 is 10. I'm going to continue being a little risky this time, and I'm going to put this right there. Ooh, look, we have three almost finished boxes. <laughs> We're so close. <gasps> this is nine. I have 9 because that little pinky is down. 9 plus 10 is 19. I could go this way and start working on that one or this one. I think I'm just going to go this way. Okay. And let's see what's happening on that side. Oh, I also got a 9. 9 plus 10 is 19. I'm just going to be a wild and crazy mathematician and color in this side right here. God. Zero plus 10 is 10. I'm going to draw a line right here and I'm going to put my initials right here in the box over the number. So does that mean you have one point now? I have one point. That's right. Okay. Come on. Something to give me a point. Woo. Look at this. I got an eight and eight plus 10 is 18. So I could put a line here, but that would be silly because yeah. I can color in this side and finish that box around the 18 and put my initials right there. Awesome. You know, we have one card left and it's my turn. And so two plus 10 is 12. But if that was the end of our game, we are tied. We each have one point at the end of our game. That was a fun game. But we could just keep playing if we had more cards or we could shuffle the cards and go again, right? Right. Good game, Laura.